Well, hello, folks. I do hope you're well. I really do. By the way, they've had a bit of an earthquake here earlier today. I'm in Tenerife, by the way. I'm in Tenerife. You can see the crack, crack in the wall there. Happened earlier today. Now, the clock on the wall says 10.58 in the morning. The clock's lying. It's broke. It's about 6 o'clock at night, and I've nicked somebody's line there with the old clock on the wall. But I do hope you're all well. It's my first full day on my yearly holes in that there Tenerife. And as part of the old Tenerife, and for a bit of content, and for those that follow the channel religiously, I'm going to do a daily update, a daily bulletin. You're never going to get moving pictures, because I'm not into all that. You, you won't get that at all. But I'll let you know where we've been, what we've done, and so on and so forth. Her indoors, where is she? I hear you asking. She's indoors. She's having a shower now. I said, whatever you do, don't come out of that shower naked walking across this camera. I said, this folk here will be having the tea. So she's under order. She'll be all right. Don't worry about her. She's sorted out. How's my day gone? Well, I've not done much today. It's been a quiet one. It's been a quiet one. Yesterday, we should have flew about, oh, I think it was about, I think it was about 10 to 4. We flew about an hour and 20 minutes late. We got on the plane late because the, play, the plane got in late from a God only knows where. They couldn't have been Tenerife because nobody had a tan. I'm guessing it came from London or Ireland or somewhere like that. Anyway, they came in. We went almost straight out on the plane. Uh, and then somebody had had much, much, much too much ale, threw up badly, really badly. It took them God knows how long to clean it up. Then we couldn't get a spot out. It was an hour and a half late. He did give it the full throttle. He made half an hour up. So we was an hour late. We didn't get in the old apartment. So what time would it have been? Ooh, I don't know. Probably about 11 o'clock. Something like that. Half 10, 11 o'clock. Luckily, the apartment's only 10 minutes away from, 20 minutes away from the airport. So that's pretty good. So everything went reasonably well. We thought, well, we'd not had an out to eat. Yesterday was a poor day for me. I was doing that much work yesterday. I did only two messages, but I did other stuff in the morning. I was well busy. I was up to here with work as well. Yesterday, I only recorded two messages. I had no breakfast. I had no dinner. My mate picked me up, sent me to the airport, and I said to him, I'll tell you what, Phil, do me a favour. Stop at this shop on the way, and I'll get a couple of sausage rolls. They'll do me. I said, they'll stick the boot into me at the airport, and I'm going to have a nice meal tonight when I get there, and I might have something on the plane. So I'll get a couple of sausage rolls. Got in the airport, had a couple of pints for a flu, only a couple. I didn't want to be that person throwing up on the aeroplane, don't worry about that, that wasn't going to be me. Couple of pints, couple of sausage rolls, they went down dandy. On the plane, no what food. So that was a no-no, so we waited till we got here. Anyway, I said to her indoors, let's go and have a couple of drinks, just a couple. We won't be too late to see that, we'll have a couple of drinks. I said, and if we feel like it, we'll get a kebab on the way home or something, because there's a couple of chicken places where we are. Very heavily frequented from about, ooh, from about 8 o'clock at night till about 2 or 3 in the morning. Anyway, we went to the wrong one, there's two of them. I didn't go to the one I always go to. By accident, I went to the busiest one, but I don't think it's the best one. It was all right, it wasn't bad. And that was really it. We got in about ooh, 1 o'clock, quarter past 1, so it was a late-ish one, but not that late. And that was it, straight to bed. That was it. No, I'm done. Today got up late, had a bit of a line. It was a long, long day yesterday. Don't know sunbathing or nothing. Well, tell a lie. I've been around pool just for one hour, and I mean only one hour. Half an hour front, half an hour back. That will do me. I won't be getting any race tomorrow because tomorrow it looks like United at half past twelve, racing at ten to two, Warrington at half past five six o'clock. Then out for a bit of jack, bit a bit of a meal, and then to watch an act. And that'll be it for tomorrow. Tonight we're going possibly our favourite restaurant in this area. It's called Embassy. More about that tomorrow, I'll let you know how it goes. We went somewhere last night though, we went somewhere, had a couple of drinks, they had a they had an act on, he wasn't that bad, not brilliant, but not bad, never seen him before. And then they had a bit of karaoke on, don't mind a bit of karaoke, don't mind the odd singer. I'm going to be honest folks, because I, I say everything in all honesty on this channel, I'm going to carry that on, I'm not going to deviate, I'm not going to move. Although I know I might upset some folk, and I know I might see some folk in this area who are, are mentioning, they might see it on a vid and they might come and get me. They might see me in the street, they might give me a fork new one, as my uncle used to say. I don't know, but I've got to say it as I see it. There's a bit of karaoke in there last night. It wasn't brilliant because the presenter did a lot of talking, not a lot of people on. But there was a bloke there thinking, I've got to tell you about him, I've just got to tell you about him. He wasn't that tall, he was a bit physically, you know, he wasn't a DWAR, but he wasn't that tall. He was white, he had old slick back hair, but it was all plaited. And they said, this fellow's going to sing... A Michael Jackson song, and I thought, oh, I'm not sure about this. He's going to sing bad. I thought, I hope it's not. Well, I've got to tell you, folks, it certainly was. Oh, my God. He's one of them fellows that 15 years ago would have been on the old X Factor. You know, that's the X Factor. And Simon had said, 
What made you come here, uh, Johnny? I don't know what his name was, by the way. Well, my friends say I'm brilliant. I'm always on karaoke. They say I'm absolutely brilliant. Oh, oh all right, then go on, give it a go. And they'll be watching him like that, behind their hands thinking, and maybe sniggering to themselves and not letting him see it. And then when he finishes singing, they'll say, oh, right, your friends are right, aren't they? Oh, ah, yeah, I love it, I love the karaoke. They say I'm brilliant, they say you have to come here, right. Well, it, it might be a no for now, but we might bring you back further into the series. And you never hear from him again. That was Johnny last night. I don't know what his real name. That was at the Pheasant Plucker. I don't mind the Pheasant Plucker. Nice pub, nice landlord, good staff, grand. Having said that, no, I won't. Grand, no problem there at all. But, oh, it was bad. He sung bad, and it was bad. I'd pick a different song if I were him, and that comes from someone who can't sing it myself. But I've got to say what I see. You know, it's the old... It was to say what you see, you say what you see, you know, the comedian, isn't it? Is it Roy Walker? You've got to say what you see, that's all you can do. If you're doing this, you've got to be honest. So that was my take on last night. It, the kebab went down a bit worse, had he not sung bad, it would have tasted a little bit better, I think. It wasn't the best version of it I've ever heard. Michael Jackson would have nothing to worry about when he's still alive, I've got to say that. Anyway, I'll leave it at that, so it's Embassy tonight, and then I've noticed that a place called The Colonial. A guy I've seen, I've only ever seen him once, the last time I was there, or the time before, I think it was the last time. I, I always get his name wrong. I think it's Michael Levy Jr., but I'm probably wrong. It's similar to that anyway. See, he's on at half ten. If we finish the old uh, meal at a decent time and we get down there, I've got it in my mind to go and watch him because I think he's absolutely brilliant. He's on somewhere this Saturday afternoon we were going to go, but there's too much sport on this Saturday, so I'm giving it a pass. I've got two more chances to see him on Saturday. He does two, two and a half, even three hours, and he's massive value for money. He's brilliant. So that's where we are, folks, for today, or yesterday, should I say. I'll let you know tomorrow how today's gone. I'm following this. There will be two or three more videos up here. Um, I've not got all the sources I would have at home, so there won't be as much. But there will be stuff up here. And a week on Monday, a week on Monday, that's not next Monday, the Monday after, that little series that I've been threatening you with for the last, ooh, 12 months, that's going to be airing then. I was hoping to record it from home before I came out. I've not done it yet. God only knows when I'm going to find the time to do it. But I am going to find the time to do it. And hopefully that's a week on Monday. Hope you're all well. And I'll catch you soon.